Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to be looking at a new figure and this is Trailbreaker and he's from the Earthrise War for Cybertron trilogy. So what we're going to do with this video, we'll have a quick look at him inside his packaging and all the artwork that's on that. Then right here on the video I'm going to take him out of the box, we'll have a look what's inside. Uh, we'll have a quick look at him in his robot mode, see how good his articulation and just how good he looks. Then I'll transform him into his alternate mode. And while we're here as well, I've also got the original one, so we can do a bit of comparison with the original Trailbreaker as well. So, let's have a quick look at him then. As I've just mentioned, this is one, one of the newer figures, and this has been released under the Generations line. And to be honest, I'm quite excited about this figure because I think it looks really, really good. It's one of these figures that definitely looks better than the Generation 1 figure already, and we all know how much I love Generation 1 figures. But it just looks so good. This really does look cartoon accurate. Excuse the glare if there's one there. So let's have a quick look at the box first then. So if we turn it around to the side, we've got this lovely artwork there, which they're using for Earthrise. And again, we're all very excited to see what they're going to do with this arc there in the Titan next. So there we've just got the picture of the robot and the transformation. Nothing too fancy with this, just the fact that we've got the robot and the alternate mode, which looks good. A bit more artwork there for Trailbreaker himself. And of course, here he is in the box. So then, without further ado, let's take him out. Try not to damage the packaging while I'm here. So I'm really impressed with these um, War for Cybertron figures. I keep saying this, to be honest, um, but I do, honestly. And again, most of the people who've watched this video might have seen my collection already. And I'm really trying not to buy new figures, but this one, I think, is a huge, huge update for the Generation 1. So we've got the usual stuff. We've got the instructions which I'll have a quick look at in a second. Um, I'm just going to tip that out of the way so there's no glare off it. And it looks like we've got another decoder here. So let's take this out of the package. There's Trailbreaker in there. I'll leave him resting there while I just take this out of the package so we can have a look and see if there's anything written. I know with some of these that these things aren't always written and they are pieced together, etc. But this might be that case as well, to be honest, because there is the... Um, there is obviously the sheet and then there's nothing there, there's just, you can't even really see, especially with the glare, there's just lines across, there's nothing that I can find on here, unless I'm being really stupid, which I can be, but no, there's, there's nothing on here, so we've got, a, um, we've got a decoder, of course, and we've got a picture of some map, this obviously must connect to something else, a bit like the Ironworks one, but the Ironworks one didn't even have a decoder, it just had... Um, nothing at all so that's confused me but there we go let's have a look at the actual figure then because let's be honest that's what it's really about so here he is inside the packaging and again he looks really really good doesn't he he really does we've got a couple of accessories as well which is good so let's cut this carefully without damaging him too much out of here for those of you wondering about the change of scenery i am at work um, the gyms are back open in the uk so i'm back at work which is good and I'm also trying to keep the contents going up with this. So I took the advantage to come upstairs into the office. If you hear any crunting or any music in the background, that's because I work in the gym. And here we go, I'm taking him out. Sorry, I should have put that more on camera. Here we go then. So, have we got him? I'm sure I took every single thing off. Yes, we did. So, let's have a look at that then. He was quite tricky to get out of the packaging, to be honest, but... Let's stand him there. Look at that. Fantastic figure. I mean, that is really G1 accurate. You've obviously got the lovely colour in his eyes. And what I've just noticed that I didn't before, you've got some things already built in on him. So you've got the, I um, can't remember its proper name, it's like an antenna on the top. And we've got obviously some weaponry on the top there as well. Because the big difference between this and the Generation 1 one was would be exactly how many accessories that the Generation 1 figure had. While we're here... I'm going to stand him next to there. I'm going to hope that they both balance. Is he going to balance? Can we see that? Yep, so we can obviously see that this is much taller. You've got the much more cartoon accurate colour in the eyes. Um, and as I say, with the Generation 1, you had a couple of different accessories. You could either have the missiles in his hands or actually his hands. And then that's the bit at the top, which we've now got there. So, yeah, let's just put this back here so we're going to move a quick... Quick comparison it is a much much better update let's be honest it's really really good and he's much much taller so i know that all the earth rising the generations figures they're releasing in line to try and keep them all the same sort of height 
So we've got articulation in the elbow, in the shoulder, in the knees, in the legs. If I wanted to be really pedantic at the moment, just looking at this, you've got where you lift the arm up, you've got the back of the, um, the obviously wheel arch of the truck visible there. I'm just checking if it's not me. No, I was just seeing if whether you could fold it up. You obviously can't. It is all one piece. That's only if I'm being overly critical and overly picky. But I think the robot mode, yeah, it looks really, really good. Nice colours. Again, really good homage to the Generation 1 original. So what I'm going to do right now, then I'm going to transform him off camera, save a bit of the time and not to spoil it for you guys when you manage to get hold of one yourself. And then we'll come back and see him in his alternate mode. Okay, here we are, and there he is in his alternate mode. I've obviously just transformed him off camera just so I haven't spoiled it for you guys. It wasn't too hard to be fair, there's a lot of clipping in and putting things into place. Um, this is, I've also attached the weapon and the hood on the back. So before we finish the video, I'll transform him back into his robot mode so you can see where these attach as well. Let's have a look at it then. And it is a great alternate mode. It is really, really good. It is nice and blocky, but of course, it is representing exactly the vehicle that it should be. I do really, really like it. I mean, let's look at it next to the Generation 1. Look at that for an homage to Generation 1 figures. It's pretty much identical. Obviously updated, so it does look that bit better. You've even got, obviously, the translucent blue on the front of the window there. And you've got it here as well. The only problem with this is, though, you can make out, I think, that there's a head there. If I wanted to be overly critical and overly pedantic, you can see his fists on the bottom. That's the only thing that stuck, stumped me when I was doing the transformation. I kept thinking, that can't be it, that can't be it. But it is, unfortunately, they, they do just go to there. Especially when there's all that space there. I was trying to do initially. Anybody remember the G1 Jazz and smokescreen figures? Where you can fold the arms over. I was trying to get them like that, but it wouldn't fit anyway. But that's the way it's supposed to go. It doesn't affect the way that it moves about. So it still looks really, really good. A great, great alternate mode. It really does look fantastic. You haven't got to have this bit on it as well if you don't want to. As I say, I'm going to be coming back. I'll just bring G1 Trailbreaker in there again. It is a really, really good alternate mode. You haven't got to worry about losing the sunroof either like you have on the G1. That's obviously all intact. Uh, stickers and decals, okay. Uh, you haven't got to worry about any of them, of course, anymore. So, it is very, very good. Very, very impressive. So as I say, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come back in robot mode just to summarise and I'll show you with the hood on the back and of course how you can hold the weapon in his hand as well. Coming back at you now then. Right then, so just finishing off and finalising this video, he's back in his robot mode and the reason I wanted to show you this is because obviously now I've attached the weapon into his hand there. That's just what was on the, um, the hood while it was in the alternate mode. And also as well, you can see that I've attached the hood on the back of the car as well. So this is really good because that basically means that everything that comes inside the packaging does attach to the figure. So you haven't got to worry about the fact that, um, you know, you might lose things if, you don't, if you're displaying it in either mode. Whichever mode you display them in, you can attach all the parts to it. Another thing as well, I just noticed while transforming him, you've got even more articulation. You've got articulation at the ankle there. So, especially as I'm trying to do this on a sofa in the office, you can then balance him and pose him in much, much more uh, many ways. But I really like it. Again, I said at the very beginning, that's probably one of the main reasons why I got it. I didn't actually get the Earthrise hoist, although it's okay. I don't think it looks anywhere near as good as this one. And again, maybe it is just because of how good it really does look. I'm very impressed with it. It probably is the head sculpt as well. That's, as I say, is... is Generation 1 trail breakers you're ever going to get. But there he is. Um, yeah, great figure. Really impressed with him. He does look very good. His articulation's good, so you can display him any way you want. Very impressed. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed looking at him in both ways. I hope this helped you with your decision if you wanted to get one or not. Um, yeah, keep obviously your other suggestions coming to the rest of my videos. Um, I'll showcase any figure that you want that I've got. And yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this and for liking and commenting. And of course, if you don't already, please hit that subscribe button for me right now. And of course, all of you out there now, please do take care.